Hi there. Today in this video, I have a big unboxing. And you can notice the parcel is much bigger than usual. That's because it's a 3D printer. It's the M3D Micro 3D printer. And I will be unboxing it now. So, let's get into the box. Try not to damage anything. Yeah, so my channel now is going to be based more on 3D printing because of this. So at the top here, you've got that, just saying about where you download software and manuals and stuff. Put that aside. And now, I only want one reel of filament, that's because I'm going to be buying some 3D Prima filament from Amazon, because you get one kilo. This is 250 feet. Let's put that down there. And then the box inside the box. The 3D printer. So at the top, move this up a bit. At the top here, you've got UK charging adapter. That's because I live in the UK. It's got those are the specs there. It's a five volt charger. And the USB cable here. is the printer. Put this box aside. So, I think this says something about unpacking it. Um, remove all tape, bubble wrap and foam. Be sure to remove all 3D printed parts including the two gantry clips and the inside edges of the printer. I've watched lots of unboxing videos so I think I'm going to do well with popping this stuff. And I'm going to use tape. Be very careful not to damage anything. Oh, it's actually a bit bigger than I thought. I'm sorry for that noise in the background. My mum's cutting the grass. So, there it is, in all of its glory. Oh damn, it's not focused. There. So I have to move the camera down a bit. Move all this stuff out of the way. There we go. So, remove clips. Look, in the photos and all the videos I've seen, it looks really small. But it's not too small. There's the gantry clips. They 3D printed them themselves. Looks like. I am there's still some test filament in there. One gantry clip. Another gantry clip. Now I remove the tape. foam as well. I need to remove. They have packaged this very well. Nearly put this tape off. Luckily this tape doesn't leave any residue, so I have to be careful with a 3D printer at the same time as 
some whipping tape onto it. Very sticky. There we go. I'm just gonna put these gantry clips to the side. And there is the 3D printer. And because everything has to be perfect, stick that back on. Yeah. We'll make that a bit neater a bit later. Anyway, there's foam under here. I've never used a 3D printer before, so this is all completely new to me. I'm not used to the software, not used to anything. So I'm just gonna quickly go grab my laptop. I'll be back. So after a long time of trying to get this printer working, I finally got it working because it wasn't extruding the filament. But I went onto the troubleshooting page and I fixed it. And I'm just doing a quick, tiny, I've shrunk it down, a test print. It's, it'll be done soon. And it's just, uh, it's called the Ooze Retract Test. So, yeah, it, the software, it's very simple and easy to navigate, but it just wasn't working for a while. And then finally after about a tenth attempt, it worked. So, yeah. I'll be back after this is printed. So I've just printed a little test here. Only took a couple of minutes because I've got it on the lowest quality so that it's fast. If I can focus in on this, there we go. You can see it's very poor uh, quality. Yeah. Let's put that back on the print bed. Focus again. Um, so yeah, that it was at first quite hard to get to grips with the software. Now I've got the hang of it. It seems pretty easy. The only thing I struggled with was the, was the filament loading process. But yeah, anyway. That was the unboxing of the Micro 3D printer, M3D. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, I will hopefully be uploading every week what I've printed. So be sure to stay tuned for that, and I will see you next time.